Morning folks, back out with the camera again. It's been way too long, but for a number of different reasons, photography's taken a backseat for the last 12, 15 months. But I'm out this evening, I'm sorry, out this morning, around Old Head and County Mayo, a place I haven't been to in years. And while the family are all sleeping back in the apartment as part of the midterm break, I've escaped out into the cold morning air, looking to capture one or two images. I think I have one in the bag already. But I'm going to see if I can get a few more. This looks great. So I've come up off the coastline in among some old woodland. One of the few native woodland, true native woodland places remaining in Ireland. These gorgeous trees, lovely framing back towards Croke Patrick. Other trees hanging off the side of cliff edges. And I'm kind of wondering, what will I do? It's a feast for the eyes. It's almost too much to take in. Thankfully, got two or three days more here, but the weather looks really bad the next couple of days. So I'm going to try and work a couple of compositions here, or even sketch a few compositions, and see what, what they look like the next over the next day or two. Take you through my composition here. I'm almost thinking I'm trying to be too clever for my own good. I've got this beautiful tree trunk, really gnarly, but it's making a lovely kind of silhouette at the top of the frame, just balancing the, the scene. I've got Croke Patrick in the distant foreground, uh, the ocean, and I've got this track through the dead bracken here. I'm not sure if it's been too clever for my own good, but it's kind of interesting. Realistically, I think of the, the branches that just fall off from the left and the right are kind of ruining the, the scene. It's a bit too messy. So as I thought, those branches sneaking in from the right-hand side made things just a little bit too busy. And the composition, doesn't really work as such. And the next morning, under the cover of darkness, I returned to more magical conditions. Uh, good morning. Second morning out here at Old Head. Beautiful conditions this morning, much, much milder than yesterday and no wind, thank God. Rain's starting to fall, but kind of clear skies out on the east coast. But the cloud is thickening up there, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Going to try and get into position here work a composition I spotted yesterday. Either way, beautiful be out. Birds singing behind me. I've seen a fox already this morning. Don't get much better than this. Ah! Okay, so I'm really, really happy with this composition. I've dropped down onto the shore. Tide's kind of on the turn, so it's kind of in that stage where it's kind of half in, half it going out. But I got this beautiful view looking back towards this lone tree hanging out of the side of the cliff face, it's too strong, but of the, of the shoreline. Waves rolling in around these rocks and I'm just tripping the shutter. 10, 13 second exposure. What I really, really want now is for the light to get up behind Krog Patrick and illuminate the shoreline here, the distant hills. Oh, that looks good. And the clouds just above in the sky there, just kind of get that first glow of morning light. Really, really beautiful. I'll show you the composition now. So here's the composition I mentioned. As the waves roll in on the foreground here, I'm tripping that shutter. Got a beautiful set of rocks there, beautiful colors in them. That tree just hanging out of the side of the shoreline. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I've moved further out to shore here because the tide's kind of retreating and those beautiful rocks I had earlier on are hardly getting any kind of water spinning around them, which I wanted. I've got this lovely sweep coming in from the right-hand side, 
just drags the eye out towards the distant tree there in the hills. Still a little bit more colour on the clouds just above the tree, but so far, nothing. We'll wait and see what happens.